In our Trader Rundown, Todd, Bob Horowitz joins me now, and good to see you, Bob. Good morning. Nice to be here. So I know you have a couple of stocks on your radar today, including Apple, and a lot of people are waiting to see what's going to be the next move for this stock. It sold off. It did a bounce back. What do you think is going to happen from here? Well, I think Apple's in a bear market. I don't think the earnings were much of a surprise. I think that you heard some bullish reports that it might be good, but I don't think it really was a surprise. I think you, got, you have to see Apple probably go back and try to test the low. I think overall, long term, it's a great company. It's a great stock. But you have to remember, we're pricing have already happened. And, you know, pro new products take a long time to develop. I think Apple's going to be fine. I'd look to be a buyer about 90, but I think there's still a little bit of action in here. And the over they overshot the mark on the downside. They're, they're looking at about a 4 or 5% move and actually moved 8%. But overall, I think it's fine, but you want to find a spot to buy. But weren't you surprised by the magnitude of the news and the move? No, I really wasn't because I, I, what happens is, is market makers and traders try to price things in ahead of time. And I don't think they gave the bad news enough credit, and that's why we see saw the extra bit of down move, which we don't normally see. But that's again the surprise. Those are the things that surprise announcements that come out that was more than what they thought. Now there is a China play coming into the market today. If I do, they have earnings as well. So what do you see in the charts for this stock? You know, Baidu is really interesting. It's you know right hovering right in that 190 area. Uh, I think that my play is going to be to the downside myself, but I could see playing it neutral. I would not try to play it straight up to the upside. I think it's probably going to get hit on earnings here. I think all that China trouble we saw in the beginning of the year is going to start to come out, come into play here. I think the stock has had a nice move back up, but I think it's time for it probably to take a little bit of a breather. And it's an internet company, so after all, we've had some issues with some tech stocks here we, in the United States. Right, we've seen a lot of internet problems, and we've seen you know the profits aren't quite what they thought they were. And again, you always get this little bit of a manipulation through China, so I think you're going to probably see a little bit of a sell-off here. But I, again, somewhere down lower would be probably a spot you want to step in, but here I think it'd be a sale. And what are you watching the S&P 500? You know, it's, it's very challenging here, but I, I do believe they're going to probably print a new high before it's all said and done, and then I would actually look for lower prices. But, it, you know, one thing about trading, we get to certain levels, and we're going to get that number. Well, no matter what it takes, you're going to try to print the new highs and then probably see us off. But I, I look for some selling pressure and then probably look for a spot to buy it down the road. Good to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here.